Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix your AutoCAD blocks using a list protein. I have a complicated relationship with AutoCAD. There are times it feels so antiquated, I have no idea why we even use it. But there are other times when I see its relevance in the building construction industry. One of the most frustrating things about AutoCAD to me is its layer management tools. It isn't as restrictive as Revit, so there are dozens of ways you can mess up your file and then you spend hours trying to fix it. In particular, one of my pet peeves is when people modify the properties of lines in a block so that they're no longer on layer zero or the color is no longer set to by layer, etc. When you try to move these blocks to different layers, they don't inherit the properties of those layers. A typical method to fix this would be to edit the block in place fix all those lines in the block and then save it. But when you have hundreds of blocks, you could waste weeks on this task. So I'm gonna show you a list routine that will fix all the blocks in your file and change the lines to layer zero. AutoCAD uses VLISP, a visual lisp, which is an interface to write and run lisp routines. Let's take a look at an example to see how this works. This is a typical house plan, but you can see that none of the blocks are the right color. The walls, which are supposed to be white, are instead magenta. The furniture, which is supposed to be cyan, is brown. And the doors and the windows are a variety of colors instead of just being red. I'm going to run two list routines. The first will convert dynamic blocks into undynamic blocks. And the second will change the layers in those blocks to layer zero. When you open these list routines, the term right after the C and colon is what you will use to call these list routines. So in the first, it will be undynamic. In the second, it will be block to zero. The way to load these is to go to manage, load applications, and then double click on each of these list routines. So I'm gonna type in non-dynamic and then select all the blocks where I wanna break the dynamic link. Next, I'm gonna type in block to zero to call the second list routine that I showed you. When I click on the block containing the walls, they automatically change from magenta to white, which is what they're supposed to be. The furniture changes to cyan. And next, I'm gonna select the doors and the windows, which should change to red. Finally, the sanitary fixtures should change to magenta. And that's it. You've cleaned up all the blocks in your file now. So that simple process of loading the two files and then running them has just saved you hours. Of course, we'd be nice if everyone used software the way they're supposed to, but in the rare occasion they don't, these list routines will save you a lot of time like they did for me. So click on the link below to download the two list routines that you just saw and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and thought it was useful. Stay tuned for more videos to come. And until then, I'm Belinda. This is Automation and Building Construction. Thanks for watching.